Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends and subscribers. This is Mehmood Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on a tutorial series of how to make a blog application using Laravel 5.4. In my last video I completed the functionality of displaying links here um, on below of each blog post and displaying date but this date is not displaying properly. Uh, let's go to our project. Okay here deleted okay let's refresh okay the problem was with this uh, field it was uh, it's actually updated at but i had mistakenly written uh, as update at okay now nail next let's move on displaying the content of each blog post whenever user click on this view link okay so in my last video uh, you, has, you saw I have attached the links or the post ID to each of these links so that when I uh, when I click on any of these links I should get the content when I click on this view link I should get the complete content of this particular post when I click on this edit link I should um, be displaying the form where I can edit this post and when I click on this delete I can uh, delete this post okay so let's first start with weaving this post completely whenever user click on this link now if i click on this link i will get only the post id of that particular link so for now i want the complete details of that particular post so that i can display it on the uh, on different page so for that we need to go to our post controller and here we need to use we need to call our post model use Okay, because we are uh, we need to deal with uh, post tables here. Uh, that's why. Okay, we have already imported it. Okay, now let's create post post equals to post and get all records. So we need to use a where condition where post ID is equals to this ID. Okay, copy and paste here where ID is equals to this post ID, whatever ID is coming from the form. Now, if this is actually this one, we are passing ID as a get request. So whenever user click on this link, an ID will be sent uh, through the get request, which will received here, and we are receiving that ID here. We are passing this ID to this where condition to get all the records on us, to get all the information of the particular post. So I will just return the post details. Is it okay? So now let's refresh the page. Okay, if I click on this view, okay, okay. let's make it as like this. Okay, now refresh. Okay, you can see I now I am getting the um, details of that particular post. Okay, now we need to pass this entire details to the view uh, which we have created here. Okay, so now let's come here. Return view. Okay, and then we need to pass this data to our view as an array. Let's copy and paste here, and we need to call a view which is inside post folder so we need to refer to this view using their folder name okay now okay so we need to go to view we need to okay, where is that home okay there it is we we'll just copy the entire code and put it here save it Okay, now let's delete this, all this stuff from here. 
okay this one also and these errors also and the style sheet also okay let's now this one is post view okay now let's refresh the page now i get a post view where i need to display categories here and i need to display that single blog post uh, which information we have uh, received here okay along with this we also need to display all uh, we need to fetch all the categories details okay so let's come copy this and paste it here and let's pass these categories also to our array copy paste here okay okay now let's go to our view okay now let's create a ul and then li and inside li a tag and then here okay we need to get the ids okay so the records uh, print here return dollar categories exit okay now refresh the page i get all the categories here so if i okay i want one category and its id okay so let's come here to our view dot play dot php and okay let's put an if condition if else and and if okay here okay if this category is copy this and if count of this categories is greater than zero then i'll be running a for each loop okay and then copy this paste here and i will iterate all categories as category and i will and for each year okay, and in else condition i will just let's create us no category found if we don't have any category in our database okay now lie okay and this one we need to cut this and paste here and then dollar categories of category okay copy this and paste here and here we need to uh, link the id of each category url okay and then category slash id copy id okay now let's go and refresh our page okay property id does not exist on the instance collection instance again
select all categories okay we are passing the data here from here okay save it come here categories copy here okay this category copy this category of id and category of category okay let's now refresh the page okay now i'm getting all the categories but we need to uh, give a proper styling to these categories so let's go to our bootstrap.com and then click on getting started okay and then uh, click on examples now scroll down Okay, click on components okay then scroll down scroll down it okay mm. now scroll down few bit more Okay, new bar. I want. I don't want this. Okay. Okay. Okay, I want this. Let's uh, copy the class of this UL. Copy this. Come here and put it here, and then again go back. Come here and then copy the class of this LI. Copy and then paste to, to this LI. Now save it and now come and refresh our project. And you can see uh, now our categories are styled properly properly and if you click on yeah uh, if you place your cursor on each of the category you will see here at the end uh, the uh, their respective category slash name uh, category id is displaying if i click on this category then i'm getting an error because i haven't created any route for this category slash to i haven't uh, defined any route inside my web.php file okay we'll do that uh, in later tutorials so now we have displayed the categories and uh, and now we need to display the post okay we have already is, uh, we have collected the information of that particular post id and we have already passed this information inside our view then we just need to display it okay let's come here and uh, let's come to here home and then copy this entire content copy and then come to our view and then just replace it with the uh, with the copied content okay now I want to display the all the content, not uh, not the part of the content. So I will just remove this uh, sub str function. Okay, and uh, I don't want to display this date here, and I don't want this hr also. So now let's refresh. Okay, undefined variable posts. Okay, so here it is. What data we have uh, sent? We have sent a post. So we need to, yeah, let's make it as posts. Copy, paste here, paste here. Okay, now let's refresh. Okay, you can see our blog post is displaying here. Uh, all the content of the part of that post is displaying. Okay. Uh, I have sent post array and that post 
data I am receiving here. Okay. Nothing new here. Already, already we have discussed how to do this uh, in many tutorials, in many previous tutorials. Okay. So here I want to display the links like like, dislike, and comment. Okay. So to do that, make it as like post ID and change it to like. Okay. This one is dislike. Dislike. Oh, sorry. Let's copy this. This is your post of ID, and then this one is comment. Comment. Okay. I'll just refresh the page. Okay, here it's showing like, dislike, and comment, but we need to change these icons. So for that, we need to go to our font awesome and let's search for the like. What is the name for like? Okay, thumbs up. Let's change it to a okay. thumbs up and this one thumbs down. And for comment, okay, I want to display this comment O. Save it. Okay, now again refresh the page. Okay, you can see like, dislike, and comment uh, so icons are displaying just beside to that link. Okay, and uh, a link of that particular post is also displaying here. Okay, in, later, in our later part of this tutorial series, we will add a comment box here just below this uh, particular post whenever we will be working with comments. Okay, now uh, let's uh, go to our home page. And now, if I click on any other post, if I want to view any other post, then I can view that also. Again, go back. And if I want to view the third post, I can also view that post. Okay, now uh, let's put a bracket here. Okay, okay. next we will uh, uh, do our edit blog post, edit, but edit any individual blog post. Uh, by clicking on this link and another form exactly similar to this add post add post form uh, exactly similar to this form will get opened whenever I click on this edit link but here it's not uh, displaying anything uh, uh, in our next video we will work on the edit functionality of of particular post okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful information out of this video if you like this video subscribe to our channel click on like button share it with your friends and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching